Centuries ago, master archers were able to perform incredible feats of archery. These skills have long since been forgotten, but the Danish archer Lars Andersen is trying to reinvent what has been lost. He uses forgotten historical methods and holds all his arrows in the same hand he shoots with. Once, this technique was widespread, and Assyrian artwork shows that the method is at least 5,000 years old. Arab Archery, the most extensive historical book ever made about archery, states, This is the best type of shooting, and there's nothing beyond it in power or accuracy. Using this technique, Lars has set several speed shooting records, and shoots more than twice as fast as his closest competitors. And being able to shoot fast is just one of the benefits of the method. But the big question is, why has it been forgotten today? About 10 years ago, Lars started using a bow. The arrows, he carried in a quiver on his back. Surprisingly, the quiver turned out to be useless when it came to moving fast. The back quiver is a Hollywood myth and was not common in the past, but it is still spread all over the world. Why? Because modern archers do not move. They stand still, firing at a target board, something that was unknown in the past. These archers also started placing the arrow on the left side of the bow, just as archers do in movies. This is probably due to the fact that aiming at a stationary two-dimensional target makes you aim with one eye instead of two. This one-eyed aiming also led to bows with front sights and other technical gadgets, but that's another story. However, placing the arrow left around the bow is not good while you're in motion. By placing the arrow on the left side, your hand is on the wrong side of the string, so you need several movements before you can actually shoot. From studying old pictures of archers, Lars discovered that some historical archers held their arrows on the right side of the bow. This means that the arrow can be drawn and fired in one single motion, which is both faster and better. And this was not the only problem with archery today. Lars realized that what we thought was historical archery only works well for modern target archery and Hollywood films. If he wanted to learn to shoot like the master archers of old, he would have to unlearn what he had learned and start reading historical manuscripts instead. He would have to find his way back to a time when archery was simpler and more natural, exactly like throwing a ball. In essence, making archery as simple as possible. It is harder to learn how to shoot this way, but it gives more options, and ultimately, it's also more fun. A war archer must have total control over his bow in all situations, and must be able to handle his bow and arrows in a controlled way under the most varied of circumstances. The old manuscripts told Lars that master archers could shoot the bow with both hands and still hit the target.